Hi, this is Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, can DMV still suspend my driver's license if I beat my DUI in court? Unfortunately, the answer to this question is yes. The moment that you were arrested for DUI, if you either refused a breath test or if you took it and you blew over 0.08, then two things happened at the same time. The first is that your driver's license was administratively suspended. This is because you broke your contract with DMV by either refusing a breath test or by taking it and blowing over the legal limit. And concurrently, the second thing that happened is that a criminal court case for DUI was opened. Although both DMV and court stem from the very same set of facts and circumstances, they're governed by very different rules. DMV proceedings are administrative and they're subject to Florida's administrative code. Court proceedings are subject to Florida statutes, rules of evidence, and the rules of criminal procedure. So, DMV and court proceedings exist entirely independent of one another. You can win in court and still suffer your administrative suspension. You can win at DMV and still lose in court. Or you could win both, or you could lose both. The point is, what happens with one proceeding does not necessarily affect what happens with the other. And before you ask, no, this is not double jeopardy. It may not be fair, it may not be reasonable, and it may not make any sense to you, but it's the law. Your initial suspension is administrative, and it has nothing whatsoever to do with court. On the other hand, your court-ordered suspension after a finding of guilt is an unwaivable and unavoidable statutory requirement. So, whether you acted within 10 days of your arrest by securing a business purposes or a hardship license or not. If you subsequently get convicted of DUI in court, then you're going to suffer a whole new D DL suspension. And worse yet, you're not going to get any credit for any of the time that you spent serving your initial administrative suspension that you first suffered immediately after your arrest, but before your conviction. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but I thank you for your question. I appreciate your having asked it, and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. We'll be putting out more soon.